back with Mike Spreadborough this morning from Novo Resources. Mike, good morning. Good morning, Andrew. How are you? Yeah, good, Mike. Uh, look, some big news this morning here for Novo as far as your uh, Bell Topper project in Victoria. You've put out this exploration target. Tell us more. So if you recall, Bell Topper is a very small tenement, 22 square kilometres near the town of Castlemaine. Um, and people would remember Castlemaine's got a historical gold uh, you know, operation way back in the 1800s. It was very successful. So we've had that tenement for a while. We've been doing a lot of good work over 18 months, two years, and really now we've got a good grasp of the geology. So through 3D modelling, putting together all the historical assays, we've now got a pretty good idea of what's the prospectivity of the era. So, yes, today we put out an exploration announcement. I do need to warn people, go and read the announcement because it has all of the qualifiers that you need to put in the modern world. But the bottom line is we're saying to people that we see somewhere around 300 to 600,000 ounces as a prospective expiration target on what we now know, right? It's never the end of the story, but that's a good start. And I think that's a pretty good outcome for the work that they've done. And I think of more interest, you know, grade, we've said 6.6 to 8.4. So that's in a good pretty range for a good underground operation possibly with all the things that have to flow through. So I think really suggest the bell toppers worth our energy that we put in for the last couple of years. Well, indeed, it's a it's a great start for the project. So what are your next steps? What are the plans? Yeah, good question. So we've now put together, as I said, this 3D model. The next story is for the geological team to sit back and go, well, we've done two phases of drilling. What's the next phase that we would look like? It wouldn't be a massive campaign. It's about asking the right questions, and we'll go and do another maybe two to 3,000-metre program sometime in 2025 to continue building the story. But this is, you know, I think a great outcome for a project that we've been working on for a while. And, of course, Novo's got some assets in uh, Western Australia, in the Pilbara. So across Australia, Mike, what's the focus for you for the remainder of the year? Yeah, so people will see, uh, first thing, um, Nanyeri North, we put out some good results recently. Um, The next story will be how do we pull that together again in a geological model and what will we do in 2025? So people should see some of that information come through. We're still focused on Balabala. Um, A reminder, Balabala is up on the coast, surrounded the Shoal Shear, which is kind of adjacent to the Malina Shear, which is the thing that brought all the gold mineralisation for the Graves Hemi project. So that's the conceptual geology that we're looking for. And, um, you know, talking about uh, Hemi, our edge in a joint venture project south of Hemi. Uh, De Grey's got the joint venture with us and they've been busy. They've got two drill rigs drilling flat out 40,000 metres this year. I'm really excited by that. So people should see some good results. Um, and whilst we're all having that fun, our geos are busy helicoptering around the Pil- uh, Pilbara, taking samples and, and camping out. So they're having a good time. And Mike, the last time we caught up on video, we touched on the subject of project generation. Are you seeing any interesting new projects? Well, it's a pretty tough market out there. You know, Novo has got a pretty good balance sheet. We've got an investment portfolio. We want to use that to expand our portfolio and add value to shareholders. So we're definitely out there looking for copper and gold projects, kind of, you know, advanced exploration, pre-resource, maybe a maiden resource has been done. So we'll continue that work. Um, We're very disciplined, so we're not going to grab anything but uh, we'll keep looking. It's a hard um, environment at the moment, given um, a lot of people are doing the same thing. And unfortunately, I think it does reflect that our greenfields exploration in Australia has dropped off in the last five to 10 years. So that makes these projects hard, but we'll keep looking. Good to speak, Mike. Thanks for your time. Thanks very much, Andrew.